Today is January 16th, 2021, and I am here at Bush Gardens Tampa Bay for the opening day of their Mardi Gras celebration. This runs for one month here on select nights through February 16th, and it's going to feature a ton of fun, food, entertainment, and all sorts of good stuff. And I'm gonna bring you guys along to check it all out. And I wanna thank Bush Gardens for inviting me out today to check out Mardi Gras and share it with all of you, and also providing me with a five item sampler so that we can try a bunch of the yummy deliciousness. We're gonna get right into the Mardi Gras fun, but as I'm walking by the Iron Guazi ride, I'm noticing the ride colors are Mardi Gras colors. The cheetahs are out. They're so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that was a cool way to start the day. Didn't expect to start with cheetahs. Here we go, moving right into the Mardi Gras area. There's gonna be food, entertainment, and I don't even know what surprises await us. Let the good times roll, let's go. If you wanna deck yourself out in Mardi Gras finery, They've got some stuff here for you, some fun festive lanyards and boas and masks and beads. The Coke canopy has been transformed into King Square. The stage is all decked out and there's gonna be live performance and actually one is starting right now. All right, it's time to get into the food here at the Savory Biscuits booth number six. They have quite a few yummy options, so I think we're gonna get some gumbo, we're gonna get some, mm, maybe the spiced vanilla old fashioned. I got the gumbo and I got the vanilla old fashioned. It looks really intense and I'm here with my friends. We've got Micah here, World of Micah, having a world of deliciousness. Oh, it's so good. Those biscuits are just, they melt in your mouth. And then we've got Nate here. My good friend Nate, hey friend. he's paging Mr. Mardi Gras today. Oh, 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 Look at him setting up that photo there. Oh, oh. Mm. It's actually really, really, really good. Let's try this weird drink. I thought it was gonna be so intense because yeah, normally old fashions are so strong and intense, but this is really smooth and delicious. This is actually better than it looks. The gravy is really good. I'm happy with our first choices. The biscuits, so soft and really good. That was a great start to the day. I'm very, very pleased. And now we're gonna go to Bayou Grub. That's booth number four. And I think we're gonna get some jambalaya. Ooh, I might even get shrimp and grits too. They have impossible jambalaya. That's a vegetarian option. And they have daiquiris, which I'm so happy about. Like a lot of nice options. So let's go in there. Thank you. I got the Tampa Vice, and that's gonna be a mix of the pina colada and strawberry daiquiri with flor de cana rum. And then I also got both the jambalaya and the impossible so I can compare the regular and the vegetarian version. The daiquiri comes with a fresh strawberry on it. This is the vegan vegetarian one. So it's got mushrooms, impossible meat, and all of that. So we'll try that first. It smells good. That's why I wanted to get it because I wanted like the okra mm -hmm. and the and the mushrooms. Wow, that's delicious. Honestly, if I thought that was just like meat, I, yeah, you would. I wouldn't know the difference. Let's try the normal one now. So this is chicken and all the good stuff. They're both delicious. I honestly think the rice with this one's better. It's like juicier and yeah. yummier. Yeah, they're both really good. They're both good. The dirty rice is good. The man. dirty rice is real good. That's oh, nice. the okra. Mmm. Oh yeah, they're both great. I'm so happy. Oh, this dude. daiquiri is so delicious, but it's so thick, I cannot eat it. And I didn't get a straw and there's a huge line, so you know what? You do what you gotta do. I am so happy with these choices to start with. This area says bead garden entrance. I don't know exactly what's going on over here, but I'm getting in line to find out. So what it is, is this is so cool. This is how they figured out how to throw beads. You wait in line, it's all spaced out. You get your turn and then you get to catch beads. 
It's actually cool because you're kind of guaranteed to catch the beans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> let's okay. see if let's see if I can. Maybe I can. I I don't know, but I'm gonna try. Even with this like setup, so that it's like guaranteed. Yes. To catch, guaranteed. I don't know if I can okay, let's do right. it at a time. Here we go. One. Woo! Woo! That was really fun. A really clever way to keep the bead throwing happening and keep the physical distancing. So each party waits one party at a time. You go up, you get to interact. Get some beads, you're pretty much guaranteed to catch them, and it's a lot of fun. They did a great job. All right, so we're at Booth 7 Sweet Beignets, so I think I'll have the bourbon caramel beignets, please. And then I will have the uh, peach sour cocktail, please. Did you order two things? Yes, I did. I did, <laughs> thank you. I got the beignets with the bourbon caramel, and I got the smoked bourbon peach sour cocktail, Woodford Reserve, and peach sour it looks good there's a lot of the bourbon caramel in there it's really warm and nice oh my gosh look at that Oof. i don't i don't want to get all sticky eating this so you know i'm trying my best here oh powdered sugar that's part of the fun it's already all over me like a like french toast or something oh well, maybe with the bourbon yeah, yeah like it almost tastes like french toast it's really good i like it a lot oh it smells really peachy and good oh yeah that's delicious Peachy King. Promise that Travis have joined us. Are you guys Marty ready now. to let the good times roll? I'm ready oh, yeah. to Marty and to Grawl. <laughs> I wouldn't believe it. Both? <laughs> Both of them. Okay, at the good. Same time. <laughs> We're getting closer to evening, and I think that that little sort of Mardi Gras cavalcade, a mini parade situation is gonna go by one more time. So we're gonna go try to catch it because it looked really cool and we only saw it from far away. Live music going on again. The atmosphere here is great. All the food and drinks we've tried are great so far. This is really, really nice and it feels laid back too. It doesn't feel like too hectic or anything. Like very chill, very, very nice. I'm impressed. tradition. Now, in normal king cake, someone would get a baby in their slice, like a little a little baby doll, a little toy. And whoever got it had good luck and had to host the next Mardi Gras party. This is so much fun. Look at the Mardi Gras colors inside of the cupcake. It's good, but I need more cinnamon in my king cake but it's really pretty though now that it's getting dark everything's all lit up and i just noticed iron guazi is lit up in mardi gras colors okay booth number eight hurricanes they have frozen or iced a rum hurricane a punch hurricane and they have those signature jello shots we had so much fun with those at hollow scream so i feel like we definitely need to get them again in the cup oh so this is the lemon and this is the lime I got a frozen hurricane. Nate, did you get, you got like a liquid ice one. A liquid, one, an ice hurricane. Right, and you got this jello shot that comes like in this, and it has the edible straw, just like they have at SeaWorld yes. right now, at Glacier Bar, which I really love. And I got this shot that comes in a giant syringe that, this all looks so epic together. So I just festive. wanna like admire it. And then they came with souvenir beads with I feel like Willy Wonka. You know how they <laughs> eat the cups? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Like this. Like okay. This. Okay. So I guess I'm gonna sip the Jello shot and then yeah. eat the straw. Yeah. Are you ready? No, wait. No, not ready. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Ready. Nothing is coming out. There's nothing coming through this straw. You gotta eat it. Just you know, the straw is delicious. It doesn't taste like alcohol. It's just so the straw much is delicious. Jello. Yeah. I don't even know. I don't know what. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I don't know how to get it. I'm making a mess of myself. I can't. I can't do it. 
I don't know what's happening. I give up. It was a valiant effort. Jackie in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> the parade party thing is coming back through. We're so excited. This is called We're Waiting for a Parade, and this is what you do to pass the time. Yeah. And oh. here they come. Oh, they are coming. Oh, my God. Personally, oh, it is a crawfish. Yeah, that is it's so a cool. Oh hey, hey. hey. Woo. Look at the crawfish. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah. Everybody has had a chance to do this. Now that it's nighttime, all the signage looks even prettier. I love this frame here, draped in beads with beautiful Mardi Gras colors all lit up. That is so pretty. There's all the confetti. Oh yeah, the vacuum. Say goodbye to the pain of the past. I love these. So I remember these from Universal Mardi Gras. Goodbye, confetti. It's time for a group pick. Who's ready? Yeah, group photo. By pick, I mean photo. Oh, are you just leaning like gangs? Ten seconds, go! Yeah. I don't know where to go. Uh oh. I think that was it. Yeah. It's even more beautiful at night than during the day. Everything is sparkling and glowing. The Iron Gwazi field is closed off, so we can't walk in to get a better look. But we do have a different angle from here, and I just love that they lit this up in Mardi Gras colors, and everything's lit up. The Mardi Gras festivities are mostly contained to one area within the park where we just were, and we had so much fun over there. And now we're gonna walk back over to the like Cheetah Hunt area and try to get a ride on a coaster. And it looks like Cheetah Hunt is down. We're gonna try to go to Montu. We'll see what happens. George for us. Bye. Say goodbye to the pain of the past. All right, just confirm that Cheetah Hunt's not running right now. It just went down, it was running earlier, so let's try to find something else. Cobra's Curse says 70 minutes, so I think we're gonna give it a try. Here we go. strap situation in preparation of filming on coasters. I don't know if I'll be able to use it today, so I think I'm just gonna go overboard and use it because I like I brought this. Well Jackie and it makes you like look like Iron Man. It makes me look so cool, like, right? You're like Iron Man like <laughs> both promise and I have never ridden 
No, I don't know if I'm gonna be a, turned into a cobra or I'm gonna be cursed. I don't know what's gonna happen. What? Either way, we're gonna be blessed. Yeah. <laughs> around the ride too. Beware, venomous water, cursed water, beware. Just as we were making our way out of the park, we noticed that Cheetah Hunt is running once again. Oh, there goes the train. So we're gonna try to get in one more ride before we leave for the night. All right, camera bag going in locker, but I'm taking my approved GoPro wrist strap to hopefully film the coaster. All right, we're doing it. Cheetah hunt, woo, thank you. I have all these beads and jingle jangle on, so I'm gonna tuck them in and zip them up inside my sweater. At one point in this ride, you will experience four Gs of force. It says astronauts experience only three Gs during takeoff. <laughs> I'm locked, I'm locked and loaded. I'm nervous by myself. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Oh my 
wish if that came out on film because it's so dark, but that is an intense, amazing roller coaster. It's closed. We just got the closed announcement. Woo! That was awesome. Last ride of the night. They made the closed announcement right when we got off. So we were the last ride. Thank you. Being the last rider group on Cheetah Hunt was the perfect way to end a super fun day. We kicked off Busch Gardens Tampa Bay's opening day of their Mardi Gras 2021 celebration. This will be going on select nights from now through February 16th. You do need reservations to visit Busch Gardens, so make sure you check the website to make those reservations. The event, however, is included with your admission. So if you're a pass holder, you have a ticket, all of this is part of that ticket. Except, of course, purchasing food or drinks. And I do recommend you check out one of those sampler lanyards, and they also have a pass holder discounted sampler lanyard. So you want to look at those options because you do end up saving money. I want to thank Bush Gardens once again for inviting me out tonight and providing me with the five item sampler lanyard. I did purchase items above and beyond that and I loved everything I tried. I really think they hit it out of the park with this. The celebration was so fun. It was so like chill and festive, really good vibes. All the team members were in good spirits. Everyone just did a great job. The performers were awesome. The musicians were awesome. I loved every bit of it and of course it was so fun hanging out with friends. I love when we're all here together to enjoy this. So thank you once again to Bush Gardens and thank you so much to all of you for watching and joining me for all of these fun adventures. There's always a lot more fun coming up so please stay tuned and if you're new subscribe to join the fun. I'm sending you all a ton of love. I'll see you for the next video and until then as always let the good times roll and stay enthused. Bye!